Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today I will be doing a Latin project for, well, Latin class. And as you see I have a little settlement down here but as I, as you look at this stream of water you'll see that it is an aqueduct and that is what I'm going to be presenting today. My aqueduct that I have built. Okay, so in Roman times you would have to find a source of water as you see right here and you would have to channel it down into a settlement just like I was just in and to do that you would have to use stone or sandstone or anything else that you'd have to create such a structure to do that and along with help from gravity you would get the water flowing down as you can see, gravity is pulling me along right now. The stream is going down, down, just pulling me along for the ride. And that is how the aqueduct was made to work. You have the little roller coaster effect, pretty much. So as you can see over here, I have a bridge. And why this bridge is here is because you can't just make it go down because then the water would have no gravity to pull it across and keep it going. You would just have standstill and you wouldn't get to where you needed to go. So not all aqueducts just have this. You would have aqueducts that are built into the ground. Even one there's one today in I think it is either San Francisco or someplace in California has its own aqueduct and the aqueduct is built into the ground. Y this happened in Roman times as well where you would have in-ground aqueducts so water could you wouldn't have to use so much stone and you could just keep and it could keep low to the ground and you could keep the water moving. So another thing about aqueducts is that they would have to transverse so much ground in and bring the water with them so you'd be strategically getting gravity to help you pull this water all the way down to the city and you would try and keep it within budget if you're in Roman times you still try and do that today but we'll let economics happen but you would also have to go through obstacles such as this where you would have a tunnel you can't go up because you can't have gravity help you and if you went down you'd kind of just have to be digging into the ground from now on well digging more down into the ground but as you can see here you have the little roller coaster effect and I'm going down down and then this is just going to be a fly through but I want you to understand that even though I'm going really fast through here like so that this is a very long way to travel that is a very long distance like this would probably take me half a day in here and probably a whole day in well maybe not a whole day in real life but maybe half a day or a couple hours but then you would go and if you went from source to there it would probably be almost a whole day or as much sun as you could get didn't really want to be traveling at night in those times. But, uh, you see the aqueduct there, and then you see this little ending right here. But wait! That's not all. You see that fountain? You see this little garden in here? If you went down into here, you would go down, and the water would come in like so and you would have a reservoir such as this held up probably by columns and probably with less iron and coal laying around and would probably be used um, but you would have that and probably higher ceiling I'll fix that um, but you would have that and it would run those gardens and it would run such a fountain like this and you could have water for the town and you would you wouldn't go thirsty so you could run your little settlement but 
close to the end of the Roman Empire, the barbarians got pretty good at warfare and so if you come over here go down say you're a barbarian you just came out of your village with a battering ram and some friends and you just decided I'm gonna take that settlement over there I don't like them I just don't I'm just gonna use my sword I'm just gonna go nah and kill them all take their food and everything you would just come up with your friends and your battering ram and you just go boom Boom, and then this would come crashing down with water, and you'd probably drive everybody thirsty in this village because you can't get from source to point B. Um, also, another way it wasn't quite very safe was because you could have an animal just decide, Oh, I'm just going to go in this little water here. I'm going to go take a bath. And you'd kind of be drinking their filth as they did so. There aren't really any animals right here, I think. They are gone now. There were a lot when I was building it. Believe me, there were a lot. Like there was a flock of sheep over there. I wish they were still there. I miss you sheep. But, yeah, that is... That's a very bad thing about the aqueducts, but, um... I feel like I didn't explain how the water would get from point A to point B. You would have to have plumbing as in the reservoir, and they would you would have a pipe going into there, and then you would have a pipe run into the house. So you would have that, and you could not go thirsty unless you have a barbarian horde just waiting over there. And if you put your gate in the wrong place, you just come pouring down over there while you're parched and not willing to fight you just die but thank you guys for watching I'm just gonna end this episode off here um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, I might actually use this in the survival maybe just turn everything to survival use my gear that I have on right now and everything will be cool I can make a little adventure with spawn villagers but that is my aqueduct so uh, and some information about the aqueduct. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day.